Deanna and McKenna shared a close mother-daughter bond, so when it was time for McKenna to attend college, Deanna was surprised by her daughter's choice to attend Utah State University, far from their New York home. Despite her heartbreak at the distance, Deanna knew it was important to let McKenna pursue her dreams. As McKenna prepared to return to New York for the summer, Deanna decided to plan a special surprise for her. She chose to fly out to Utah a day early, intending to show up unannounced and give McKenna a pleasant shock. Excited about the surprise, Deanna boarded her last-minute flight to Utah, hoping to connect with McKenna before her arrival. However, her attempts to reach McKenna went unanswered, adding to the suspense of the surprise visit. Little did Deanna know, her own surprise was just around the corner. As Deanna boarded the flight, she hoped McKenna hadn't made any plans that would spoil the surprise. After a five-hour journey, she arrived in Logan, Utah, and quickly hailed a cab to Utah State University. During the journey, McKenna tried calling her, causing Deanna to panic. She chose not to answer, fearing that McKenna might figure out her surprise. It had been nine months since Deanna last visited the campus, and she felt a bit lost upon her arrival. The campus was bustling with students and parents, many of whom were moving out for the summer. Deanna navigated through the crowds, trying to recall the location of McKenna's dorm. The size of the university seemed larger than she remembered, adding to her feeling of being overwhelmed. Careful not to be seen, Deanna scanned the campus for familiar faces. After some time, she finally located McKenna's dorm building and spotted a few of her daughter's friends inside. Deanna recognized McKenna's friends from social media posts and was relieved that she had found the correct building. Nervous but excited, she took the elevator up to McKenna's floor, reflecting on how this was the longest they had gone without seeing each other. When she reached McKenna's door, Deanna knocked, eagerly awaiting her daughter's reaction. However, no one answered. She knocked again, but still there was no response. Deanna noticed that the door was unlocked and could be easily opened. She found it odd that McKenna wouldn't lock her door, but decided to enter the room. Inside, she found a few girls packing up their belongings. Deanna greeted them and then entered McKenna's empty room. Seeing the room devoid of McKenna's personal items, Deanna feared she had ruined the surprise. Feeling exhausted from her travels, Deanna noticed that McKenna's bed was still made up with blankets and pillows. She decided to wait for McKenna to return and put down her bags, took off her shoes, and lay down on the bed. Realizing she shouldn't fall asleep and waste the surprise, Deanna came up with a better plan. Deanna decided to surprise McKenna in, in a classic mom way, by taking a selfie of herself lying in McKenna's bed. She knew her daughter would be shocked to see that she had flown all the way to Utah to see her. However, when McKenna replied, she was surprised, but not in the way Deanna had hoped. McKenna asked, where's that? Deanna frowned at her phone, puzzled by her daughter's response. How could McKenna not recognize her own bed? McKenna then sent another text, I'm in my dorm. Please tell me you're not in someone else's dorm. Deanna started to freak out. How could she have ended up in the wrong dorm room? She quickly got out of bed, realizing her mistake. She ran out of the room and down the hallway, texting McKenna, I am in the wrong dorm Ong. As she made her way down the hall, Deanna couldn't help but laugh at her blunder. I felt sick to my stomach because I've already said hi to several people in the dorm and they probably have no idea who I was, she said. Deanna realized that she hadn't even checked the name of the building before entering. Thankfully, the room she had mistakenly entered belonged to a friend of McKenna's who lived down the hall from her. McKenna found the whole situation hysterically funny and took to her mom's selfies and text messages, adding to the humor of the situation. McKenna's friend, whose dorm Deanna had mistakenly entered, only found out about the whole situation a few days later. She commented on it and was like, is that my pillow? McKenna recalled. Shortly after, the tweet and photo went viral, much to the surprise of both Deanna and McKenna. We weren't expecting anything of it. I just thought friends and family would see it, but now it's completely gone everywhere, McKenna said, 
reflecting on the unexpected response. Despite the embarrassing mistake, McKenna found her mom's surprise to be one of the funniest yet. However, Deanna wasn't as thrilled about all the attention the incident garnered. Nevertheless, Deanna was relieved that so many people found humor in the situation, including her daughter. McKenna did have one lingering issue. Every time I refresh my feed more retweets and favorites pop up, and now all my mom has to say is, I wish I would have taken a better picture.